Welcome to the Product Design Show. I'm Allison Topperwine. Complex product designs have huge bills and materials. In today's episode, we'll explore how product design teams can manage the vast array of materials that ensure product performance, regulatory compliance, and hit cost targets. I'm Vince Penman. Product designers have to stay on top of what materials are being used in their products and manufacturing processes. Keeping track of materials can give your team insights into how a material is performing, helping you identify field failures and better alternatives for your next product release. In most cases, material selection begins with the designers. Once a company has identified a customer's need, the design team has to develop a prototype that solves the customer's problem. Even prototypes typically have to be built from materials that meet specific design criteria. But not only do the prototype's materials have to be tuned for its mechanical objectives, but often they have to take into account the regulations that govern the customer's place of business. To do this effectively, you need visibility deep into your material supply chain. Analyzing the materials in the supply chain of a complex product is a momentous task in and of itself. To make matters even more complex, as everyone who's ever developed a product knows, product designs evolve over time. Those changes will affect what materials are used. That means your team needs a way to validate your design and materials after every iteration. This type of back and forth is one part of the product lifecycle management, or PLM process. A process that encompasses a constant product evaluation through the stages of validation and design iterations that help create better products. Take for example this cell phone. From country to country, the overall appearance of its design doesn't change much. Someone in China, for example, might reasonably believe that they've got a phone that's identical to mine. But if we take a closer look, we'd find that a number of the components inside this phone are made of different materials. That's because laws regulating materials vary between here and there. Since this cell phone was originally made for the U.S. market, the manufacturer had to identify all of the components and materials that are potential issues. Rather than having to cross-reference the phone's BOM with the vast list of the phone's material suppliers, the manufacturers use their PLM system to generate a comprehensive list of components that violate certain standards. This list allowed the phone's manufacturer to only contact relevant suppliers and update their material order immediately, shaving days if not weeks from their product development cycle. In addition, the manufacturer was able to compare the materials currently being used in the phone to alternative materials, giving them the opportunity to make their design more efficient and profitable. This episode is sponsored by PTC. To learn more about PTC Windchill and how it can help your team develop products, visit ptc.com slash product slash windchill. And thanks for watching this episode of the Product Design Show. Please give it a like on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, or give us a rating on iTunes.